In this video, we're going to take a look at the candy game, a really nice, accessible math activity for groups of people. And of course, it involves candy, so people like it. Now, the way the candy game works is we're going to start with a bunch of candy, wrapped hard candy, because it's going to be handled, and people sitting in a circle. And everybody takes some candy, not all the same amounts, counts their candy, and if they have an odd number of pieces, takes one from the extra candy. And then comes the point where we're going to come up with a rule and we're going to do it, whatever our rule is, over and over again. I'm going to use one of the most common rules to illustrate. And that rule is that everybody takes half their candy and passes it to the person on the right. So here's a here's a setup with four people. Really, you'd probably do this activity with more. Well, you could do it with four. So Anna starts with 18 pieces. She's going to pass 9 to Bob. Bob is going to pass 22 to Chaim. Chaim would have taken one from the middle, so he'd have 6 and pass 3 to Dora. And then Dora will be passing 7, seven to Anna again. Okay, so to set this up is fairly straightforward. I think the tricky part is that we have to account for adding the extra piece of candy. And of course you could do other rules for odd numbers. You could round down or put one in the middle. You could do another rule where you pass half to the person on your left and half to the person on your right. There's all kinds of possibilities here. So for Anna, what we're going to do, she is going to keep half her candy. Now I'm going to use the ceiling function, which is a computer science function that means round up. As you might guess, the function for rounding down is called floor. And so Anna will keep half her candy rounded up, so that's cell C2 divided by 2. And then I put a 1 to say the number of significant digits here. Um, I want to round to a whole number if I, I could round to 0.1 or 0.01 in, a, in another context. All right, so that's what she's going to keep. And then she's going to be getting some candy from Dora. Same thing half of Dora's candy rounded up. Now Bob, pretty similar. He's going to be keeping half his candy and getting half of oops, yeah, Anna's. Okay, now I did Anna and Bob separately because Anna was getting candy from Dora. They're really in a circle. Um, but Chaim is going to be the same pattern as Bob. He'll be getting from himself and to the left. So we can just drag. Okay, so the fun part with this game is when we keep passing and keep passing and thinking about what's going to happen. And I'm not going to spoil it here. I will show you. We'll go down another row or two to show a couple more rounds. But I'm going to stop, let you investigate it yourself the candy game.